Welcome back everyone to another NSG video and I just saw a skeleton walk by in my bakery. I need to fix that lighting in there too. But right behind me, like directly behind me, I'm pointing with my finger but you cannot see my finger because it does not record my face on here because I don't want it to record my face on here. But directly behind me in this intersection we are going to build a coffee shop and now this coffee shop is going to house pretty much just like a look <laughs> it's a placeholder though it's going to be a placeholder for our potion making and i really think what i'm going to do is build a automatic potion maker underneath but i am not sure if i'll do it this video um, I really just want to put something there because I really want to get this whole city starting to build up. Like, I know what I want in these places. I just don't know what type of farm or mechanic I want to build with these builds. But I so need a coffee shop. And, of course, I'm going to make it look like Starbucks. I mean, but I'm making a coffee shop. So, let's all go ahead first and jump to the spawn town shopping district thing that we all call spawn that's not spawn and see how much my diamonds we have made so far on all of our shops since we have what one two three four five six twenty i don't know we have a lot let's go All right, we are flying in and the shopping area is loading in. All right, so let's start. Should I even check the bakery? We never make anything. Let's just check. All right, there's nothing in there. All right, so let's now check our street market. Let's see, we made five diamonds with our ender chest. And this is not my concrete shock. This is actually Clanix. Ooh. And I do have a deal with him. Did he put other colors yet anywhere? No. No other colors just yet. But pretty much we worked out a deal. He puts his little shop here and I can get it for one diamond stock instead. And of course, you know, fourth has a little thing there, but let's see. My scaffolding. Two more diamonds. Alright, so so far we've made seven. Oh, ouch. Seven diamonds. Now let's jump down and check our sheep farm. And. Oh, sheep farm. Our uh, wool shop. Let's start white. Oh, we made one, two, three, four, five, six. Light blue, cyan, blue, we made one, two, three, four, five, six again. Magenta, one, two, three, four, five, six again. Purple, yellow, one, two, three, four, five, six again. Orange, green, lime green, one, two, three. Brown, red, one, two, three, four, five, six. Pink, black, gray, oh, light gray, and then regular gray. Okay, we have made 40 diamonds. Let's go see if there's anything new in the shopping area that I do want to buy with these diamonds. I know Justin really needs to put Dark Prismarine in the shop so I can buy Dark Prismarine. But, let's see. I don't want any books. I don't want fireworks. I can still make them on my own pretty easy right now. Uh, let's jump and put it. See, I do want rails, but I don't know what I want to build just yet. So <laughs> I want to build like a probably a little fair. I don't know. In our shop, so we might need some rails, but I don't need that. Yet. Again, I don't need. Oops, I don't need rockets. I don't need wood. Let's. What does he have up in here that I need that you use a lot of? I don't need stone right now. I will in a few. Ooh. One diamonds per two stacks. Let's just get it to get it. There we go. 
We always need glass. Just to have it. I think that's all I see. I don't need slime right now. I don't need glistening. Alright. We're good there. And I saw this flying over, which I don't know whose shop it is. Oh, that's Mambo's honey blocks. Let's see. Honey hive. A blocks per diamond for honey blocks. Oh, I could build some stuff. Beehives. Eight blocks per diamond. One hive per diamond. Should I? Um... One, two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm spinning my diamonds up. And I want to get this. So one... Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh. One, two, three, four. There we go. I can use that for building. Okay. Now I'm leaving because I don't need honey. The honey block just let me go back, I think. Yeah, I think so. Pretty positive. Alright. Now I'm flying back. It is time to build our coffee shop. everyone so this is what we have so far so if you can see that really thin line right about here that is actually carpet the stop spawning but what I did is I did it with the brown wool just so it gives it a little bit more to the actual look that we have going on so there is a few different things that we still need to do around 
the whole area here. Let's see. Until and then blah, 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 blah. just a few more things until we can start working on the inside. So like what we have pretty much is you have here's the little drive-through window. You have little sitting windows around this whole area here and back here, which is really weird. If you look at it, there's no center line here, but there's a center line on windows that face, you know, pretty much face going this way, but not one's facing this way. It's kind of weird to be honest, but I mean, I don't know. It is still kind of weird. So what I'm actually going to do is go ahead and grab these here. And I don't think we put a crafting table down. Here we got one here. So what we're going to do is actually make a... There we go. That's better. Some fence pose. Here we go. And what we're going to do is place them ouch ouch and i did take my axe out of me so what we're going to do is pretty much place them around on the corners of each of the wool awnings now i did not do like one down and one up like for example like right here like a slant because i did not like the look of it at all so I do pretty much went with this. Now with that being said, does it give it a more alarming look? Possibly. Um it gives it a better look, definitely though. Definitely gives it a better look. So let's take actually a look inside as well. So we have this big open area in here. So what I also want to do in here is place a ceiling in and I'm possibly thinking dark oak at the top and regular oak at the bottom and that will pretty much give me the look I'm sort of kind of going for so let me go ahead and get the roof at the top done and I might get like the counter put up and then I'll be back okay so I am down in my little area down here grabbing some stone oh, wrong way up because what we're gonna do with this is actually on the inside which I gotta show you the inside and boom so I added some shelving up here added some little counter space here uh, we'll put like a brewing stand or two up here just to get it decorated up a few coffee pot not coffee pots uh flower pots as coffee cups or whatnot because i really don't know what else to put up here but that's what we're gonna do so i was down there grabbing stone because i'm trying to decide what i like better as a tabletop so you have dark oak regular oak or the stone there it goes and then click on the click <laughs> I just don't know. I'm really thinking to get rid of dark oak. Like that's not even gonna be a, in our decision for us. It's one of these. I think what I want to go with is regular oak. Oh crap! I think I want to go with regular oak. Let's fix what I just broke out here. And at the same time, I'm doing this, I can show you the little drive-through area I kind of built up. So. Only I need andesite here for the drive. One, two, three, four, five. Why do I have that five wide and not four? Oh, well, probably because of this, but oh. So <laughs> I just noticed that. So you drive up, and yes, the little ravines down there. There is a ravine I built over this. And then wait, wait, wait. We're going the wrong way. So. What you do is actually drive up on this side and you would drive up and then go around and I'll put like a sign up here 
where they will do their orders and then drive around and come pick up their items. Right here, which here little driver area, I put a little table type thing here because they usually sit your at coffee shops. Sit your like little coffee cup here and I might put like a coffee cup there. And then you drive on. So that's like my idea for that, which it looks really good to me. Like I'm kind of happy where this is going. So let's see. Let's actually, we need to get some more tables and chairs. So let's grab our oak, dark oak. And let's turn it all to stairs. There we go. So what we can do is kind of set these up how we would want them set up. So I don't want nothing there, but I would put like a little table here, table here, like so. We could even put a table here and then we could like do a, pull that up table there like this do something like that um let's see do I have yes so we could do like an ottoman here like where all these chairs do a little ottoman let's do it like that I like that do like an ottoman like that and we're gonna need a table here table 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 I think Oh no, I'm pulling up all the torches. I think that's enough for the table wise indoors. And then what we can do is. Oop, 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 is that above this? Do like two here. Then one there. Do some like cool little looks throughout the like, all this area. Let's see, that's, that's okay. I'm gonna hang pretty much just hang them around at random spots so like we could do here just like we did over there do like two one and yes it's going to connect but I think it it don't look that bad connecting we will once 1 1.16 comes through we'll have change so we'll actually come through and change this all into change then but as of now we'll just do it like this which it don't look that bad at all. Oh, nope, 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 get you back. And then we can do like one. Ooh, you connect a glass? No, I don't want that. So we'll just do these like one high, I guess, for all above the table since it's over, it's next to glass. Cause I was thinking about changing it to the two, which you can, of course, once we get everything pretty much back to normal up in here with not normal but with our chains we could like add in all that fun stuff so let's do like one let's do two down here and two down here and add in our lanterns and do like a fun shape Okay, so let me actually flip these and do it the other way, I believe. And I'm gonna add some more lighting in here. And then let me actually get some brewing stands out and some cups around and I'll bring you back to see what I have. We have officially finished our coffee shop that somewhat looks like Starbucks. It is just, I don't love it. Got a little sitting area out here I finished up. I also, let's come to this side, just decorate the outside with some bushes and a little terrace with some vines growing up it. And I also added in lighting going around the drive-thru with a menu, they speak in a little speaker box, add some more bushes of course all around, lighting, a coffee, oops, a coffee cup sitting on the outside. And they exit out here. So let's actually go in and check out what I did inside. And boom. So I had in paintings, of course, some greenery with the bushes, trash can, 
and some decorations on the shelves with coffee cups slash with flowers inside them because <laughs> they're not actually flower pots as of right now got a little way to walk back here they got a little sink wash their hands and brew and stand inside the drive through window I just I think it pretty much came out how I wanted it to come out I mean I really think once we get those chains it's gonna look a hundred thousand times better but I don't have them right now so but it looks so very good and I just am in love with it let's see come right out here and sit in our little city area I don't I, oh I also put a trash can right here I mean I'm just in love and I'm finally done you don't know this but this project took a week it took a week I've been busy with work and everything and this took a whole week and it's just finally done and I'm happy to see it done wow just wow all right and that's all for this video of NSG now as always stay crafty y'all